So this morning the main power cable arrived. I've gone for six gauge silicone wire. Um, so this is pretty pretty beefy stuff. Um, if you look at the cross section, so I've got two meters of black, one meter of red. The red is at this end, so it's only got to go round and then just into the controller. Where the back's got to black's got to come all the way from the back, and then I'm going to make up some extension leads for here. Because uh, I've moved it round, so the wires now come out the top, uh, which means the power wires don't have to come all the way down here. Someone suggested that in the comments actually. So I just need to make an extension from the motor wire to come up here, uh, which is good actually because they were too long to come up here. There's loads of like slack, but they're not long enough, so I can make some custom uh, black loops out of that. These are the lugs in here, so I've got the little ones which are for the balance lead. And then I've got these um, 8mm lugs which will go on the end of these cables. And then this big yellow box is a special tool for crimping these. I bought it specially. So you get these dies and you basically put the, um, you'll see how it works, but you put the lug in there and then you crimp it down. I thought I could get away with adding an extra support into this uh, metal bracket for the last two batteries that would go in like so and just help support them and take the stress off. <sighs> it didn't work. I can't get the big battery pack in with that so I have to take it all out again. So I've added yet another bar. I managed to use the same holes uh, which I were going to have for the upright one. Uh, I'm not going to countersink them because I don't need to basically. It's extra work. Um, and then I'm probably going to put some more upright posts which these um, other batteries can then rest against. Actually, I think it's going to work because that's leaning against that and I've still got a bit of clearance. That's how I'm thinking of mounting the cable. I've got an idea where I'm going to clamp it to the top and then have it come out at right angles. Um, but I'll come on to that in a mo. Um, so apart from how precarious that looks at the moment, I think if I drill and tap the hole on the other side for another rod, then put it back together, we can see if it all fits. So whilst I wait for some parts to come, I'm going to make up the extension lead for these cables so they can reach up here. Basically, I just want another excuse to use this. And there we go, three lovely leads and a red one to show which one's in the middle. So let's get these fitted to the bike. So there we go, that's all of those attached for now on the terminals and then they can just come out down there um, and that will be all nice. I'll get some heat shrink to put over all the end of the lugs everywhere um, and that will just protect everything and make it all look nicer but yeah that looks really good. Next up I started making one of the balance connectors with just four pins. Um, I was soldering to these terminals and a quick tip if you heat up the red sleeving it makes it much easier to come off and then you can actually solder to it. I did this as opposed to crimping just to make a more solid connection. And then starting from the negative, because that's black through to orange, they just attach onto the battery like so. So all those wires are now centralised so I'll, pro I'll probably end up doing is capped on taping them either down the centre like that so they come out or to one side um, but I'll decide on that once it's all mounted and I've got the BMS. So here's my latest idea, it's just a prototype but I've got the lug in there with a washer underneath then I've got this plate on top which clamps down with these two bolts however the lug has an M3 nut in the middle which keeps it centred so not only Obviously when there are four screws in there it will be more secure, but not only can it not move back and forward, because of the way it's clamped down, it's also very secure. Um, and that shouldn't be too hard to insulate, because I'll put some um, heat shrink over that, get rid of any sharp edges. Um, and then I could potentially include that in the neoprene cover, or I could put some tape on it or something. Um, oh yeah, and I moved the balance leads over so they all come out one side, so they're all equal lengths. But now I've got to see if this is going to fit in the battery. There we go, moment of truth. Uh, the question is, is it going to catch on those big seat nuts? And the answer is... Hey, look at that! It's in! And there, 
it's plenty of clearance. The other thing about this mechanism, which is great, is that it can actually pass over these bits no problem, especially with a bit of foam over there. So yeah, you can just see the gap under there. I mean, the ring bit's close, but that's only because of the neoprene, which added about two millimeters or so. So now to the process of trying this in every position to check that there's nothing obscuring it. However, as I showed, even if it is under one of the nuts at the bottom, I think it will still fit, but I'm gonna do on everyone just to make sure. And as you can see, there is more than enough space for that. That's got absolutely loads of room. And then hopefully you can stuff the Anderson connectors down the back there again on top of the neoprene. So just got some heat shrink today. I mean, look at that packaging, just the way it's all like folded up. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, I meant to take these sharp edges down. And then just shrink it. That is one very neat connector. Enough. That's just a nice insulated bus bar. So that's all fitted on there like that. So they're all like that. Have a nice red section in the middle. Right, so let's measure out the neoprene. I'm just going to do this as a test to see how it's going to work out. I'll probably get some Velcro eventually so it can be taken off easily. But for now, I'll just use some masking tape. That top is protected and then these can, I'll cut a hole here, they can come out there. And that, and that's looking very nice. So apart from the last pack, there they are, wrapped in neoprene for now. Um, it wasn't too hard to get them in actually, um, it was just that end one because that's a bit stiff because it's um, got to go through the rods and everything. But this one, this one, and obviously I haven't done this one yet because this one's not quite finished, I haven't put the balance lead on and all that yet. Then other sides pretty much the same um, I don't know about the masking tape I might leave it on I might replace it with something I mean it'll be good enough for now it's I mean the weight of it in here pretty much holds it on anyway um, it's basically just to give it a little bit of protection from any vibration and stuff um, so yeah the next thing to do I guess is to finish off the bracket for the end here that's just gonna hold this pack in and you can see at the top, if I actually bring it down, it actually gives it a bit more space at the top up there, I don't know if you can see. Um, and then I've got some bits and bobs arriving for it, some connectors and washers and all this stuff. So then hopefully I can wire it up and we'll be able to give it a quick little spin. But yeah, for now, just got to get these in. Yeah. 